It's just about challenging the orthodoxy of punk as much as it is about challenging the orthodoxy of Islam. The taqwa core comes from the Arabic word taqwa, which means like a, a consciousness of God, like a love-based fear or a fear-based love. Saura is a uh, taqwa core band. Muslim American punk rock, although I don't even think it needs to be American. Muslim punk rock. This is a musical movement that came out of a novel. In 2002, Michael Muhammad Knight, a Muslim convert from Buffalo, New York, wrote the Taqwa Corps. The journey of the book is completely absurd. Well, I really didn't have any faith in Muslim punk rock as you know, a viable you know, marketing concept that I could take to a publisher or an agent and they would, they would jump on it. I ran it through photocopiers and I spiral bound it. Uh, I tried you know, just giving it away. I tried posting on the internet and saying, if anyone wants this book, I'll just mail it to you for free. And that actually connected me, uh, connected me to some cool people. And the ball just, you know, kept rolling. From giving away the novel on the net and in the car parks of mosques, the Taqwa Corps became a cult hit. Now it's being made into a movie. Along the way, Knight's novel gave birth to a punk subculture based on the fictional Taqwa Corps bands it portrayed. It turns out there's a Muslim punk rocker in Boston, there's a Muslim punk rocker in Chicago, in DC, and there's all these kids out there who have all, such conflicted and complicated relationships to Islam, but either they, they still call themselves Muslim or my book helped them to do that. I don't think this book invented Muslim punk rockers by any stretch, but what it did was it gave it a name.